Shop owners hit by flash floods in Bukitima yesterday are dealing with thousands of dollars in damages. Some are staying shut for a second day in a row. At least one mall is still assessing the destruction and linking up with authorities to look into how it all happened. Melissa Go finds out more. The only thing on Fahad Sarari's mind is how to salvage his carpets. He's been here for 26 years and among the tenants plodding through Tuesday's damage. 85 carpets are now at the dry cleaners, some that could sell for up to $30,000. Can you come to shop early? Because uh, what to do, what to do, I don't know. Videos captured by shop owners show how it all happened. Tenants in the mall tell me that this basement one entrance is where water gushed into the mall at about 10 a.m. on Tuesday morning. The mall's managing agent, Knight Frank, tells me the mall is built to withstand high levels of rain and this is the first time in over 40 years that this has happened. Kenneth Tan runs a beauty salon near the entrance. She's been forced to cancel almost 10 appointments so far. I was actually in a total shock because it's like the water level was high and then uh, I didn't expect that the damage would be so bad. The management, right, they actually told me that they would do everything they could help. She's borrowed a dryer and industrial vacuum from the mall but worries the muddy residue won't go away. Rows of shop houses in the area weren't spared as well. Flooded or the water is a lot, so nobody wants to come. And there's a big uh, jam. Business, if you can say, like 70% lesser than like normal day. One architect says newer developments should be less affected by flash floods. These are built with requirements such as a minimum platform level and a detention tank to ease the pressure on common drains. For old building, it's a bit challenging. Of course, you can have a uh, floodgate barrier, uh, just like in Orchard Road. Uh, but that is very costly and uh, sometimes it may not be practical. Individual owners still can do a part in a way that, let's say for instance, uh, you, you do a boundary wall that is solid instead of, uh, instead of a fencing. But he says the root of the matter is drainage. PUB has said that drainage improvement works in Bukitima will be completed in 2024. The area's drainage had a $300 million upgrade two years ago.